Hi, I'm Karen Rice and welcome to my watercolour YouTube channel. This is a step-by-step -step watercolour tutorial of some beautiful cornflowers and it is suitable for beginners. I take you through a step-by-step -step process and I explain the sort of building up of washes and finishing off with darks and detail. This is the gorgeous photograph that I'll be using and a link for this can be found in the description below. And I do make a few changes to that so I hope you like that. And for a full list of all the materials I use in this tutorial, please see the description below. It has Amazon links as well if you'd like to purchase any of them. Also available on my Patreon membership is some colour mixing that I did for this tutorial and a sketch in my little sketchbook as well. So if you're interested in that, check out the description below. It has more details about the Patreon membership. The other thing the membership has is a downloadable sketch outline for this tutorial and my other tutorials as well. There's lots more voiceovers. They are ad free and you can cancel any time. Next up a puddle of cerulean and I've wet the entire surface of my watercolour paper. I put some framing tape around the edge as well because I quite like a nice white border. And I'm painting wet on wet using my size 10 round black velvet brush. And as I get towards the bottom, I'm going to mix up some cerulean quinacridone gold and cerulean and yellow, Hansa yellow light. And I will have colour alternatives in the description below but it's going to be just painted wet on wet for the grasses at the bottom of the painting. And don't forget to do some tilting. While the painting is damp, I'm using my size six brush and I've mixed up some opera rose and ultramarine and I'm painting the cornflowers damp into damp because these are quite fuzzy and blurry in the background. So why not use a paper towel or something just to take the excess fluid off. If you see your paints running, it's too wet. So wait for the background to dry off a little bit. And if all else fails, you can paint this wet on dry later. So don't worry. I'm also using my size six brush and I'm painting the stems damp into damp with mixtures of yellow and blue.
So if you are beginners, you can wait for this painting to dry, especially in this later stage that I'm painting damp into damp, because it's quite difficult to get your brush dry enough that it doesn't create cauliflowers by putting in sort of a wet paint onto a damp surface. So just wait for your painting to dry and just paint this first stage wet on dry. What I'm doing now with the main cornflower, the star of the show, I'm painting it wet on dry with a mixture of ultramarine and opera rose using my size 6 brush, varying the colours as I go. I've also used some sort of mid green, that's the blue with a touch of yellow at the bottom part of the flower there. And I'm adding some darker blue now where the darks are at the sort of bottom part of the flower here. It's a creamy mixture and I'm painting damp into damp with my size six brush. Remember you can vary the colors, ultramarine with a touch of opera rose or opera rose with a touch of ultramarine just to really sort of mix it up to give some variety of different colors on this beautiful cornflower. As you saw there, I've been painting the seed heads using some yellow touch of blue and even a little bit of the violet color at the top. I'm painting the main stem here, wet on dry. Again, with my size six brush, I'm just rinsing the brush there and getting a touch more yellow to the wash and sort of fading it down into the grasses. My painting has dried now and I'm just working on some of the sort of more tonal values on the petals of this main star of my show, Cornflower, using my size 4 brush this time just to get those details in, especially where it's quite pointy at the top. It's easy to kind of lose that. So if you're worried about that, do use a smaller brush and take your time and just put these little sort of darker sort of violet blues on, wet on dry, and then you can soften with a damp brush later later as well. Just putting a few little details here 
at the bottom of the flower here just little tip little using the tip of my brush I've got a mixture of the ultramarine and a touch of the yellow you could even use a bit of the quinacridone gold and just putting some of these details and darks on the outside edge as well and I've just rinsed my brush and I'm just softening a little bit here so you've got a bit of texture and a bit of shadow as well and I'm putting a bit more shadow down the stem as well wet on dry the light appears to be coming from the right hand side so I'm putting the shadow on the left and putting a lighter green towards the bottom part and fading it out I've decided to give a little bit of a spatter as well just to keep me loose so I don't get too tight I'm putting a few more little dark marks on the right and the left hand corn flower not too much detail they are the supporting car so you don't want to bring them forward too much and I'm also going to put a few little darks on the stems and leaves as well So we're getting towards the end of the painting now and I've allowed it to dry and I'm just working on a few darks and details on my cornflowers and on the stems and leaves just to finish off using the ultramarine and the opera rose and for the foliage, the ultramarine, possibly the cerulean and some of the quinacridone gold and a little bit of the Hansa yellow light and uh, just painting this all wet on dry. Just to finish off, I'm giving it a final spatter with some of the violet colour, wet on dry with my size 4 brush and painting in a few leaves in the foreground using my size 4 brush wet on dry with a mixture of the ultra, well cerulean this time actually with a little bit of Hansa yellow light. I think I've snuck a little bit of quinacridone gold in there as well. There it goes, just to warm it up, a touch of ultramarine. So you get a real variety of different greens and it really brings the foreground to life. So I have removed my framing tape and I made a few little changes, um, added a little bit of white paint to the violet wash to create a little bit more light and if you spot the difference I've added a new cornflower in the background I didn't like the seed head so I've removed it and I've added a cornflower in bloom and I've included that little extra on my patreon membership so I hope the patrons like that if you have any questions about this tutorial please put them in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this why not subscribe to my youtube channel and you will get updates of my latest videos. Thank you again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.